I'm gonna take him with me to underwater. Ah, you can't get out. Oh, never mind. He can. He can. Hey guys, welcome to episode eight of Terrarian Master Mode. Today we're gonna be trying to set up uh, an arena for Bram Cthulhu because last time we fought the we did the two v one for uh, I have Cthulhu and it honestly wasn't as hard as I thought. At least with all the buffs and stuff. Um, so. We're gonna try to get prepared. Oh, you know what? Also gonna bring in have a honey. Have a campfire, heart lantern. Uh, I guess that's all I need. Yes. Okay. Um, but Ram Cavill is gonna be pretty tough, I think. So Oh, and platforms. Oh, well, we have platforms. Never mind. Um, so we're gonna need to, uh... Um... Uh, get prepared. At least somewhat. And also, we need some money as well. For, uh... For reforging. But yeah, last time... It was, uh, pretty good. It went pretty well. Uh, we defeated... How many did we defeat, like? Ten, at least. I'm not exactly sure how many we defeated in a couple of nights, but it was a lot, and it wasn't as bad, even if I have a buff potion, so. And I'm at 42 defense with just gold armor. <laughs> They're all warding except for the uh, armored shield of Cthulhu, and that's it. <laughs> so I want to try to, uh, oops. Um, let's try to get demonic. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah, here's an area. Okay. I was just making sure. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's grab. I guess we'll grab some vicious mushrooms. Oh, and also the Dryad can uh, move in also. We need to build a house for her, too. Um, because I kind of would like to, uh, purify this world. Somewhat, anyway. Not entirely, because I do want some crimson, but not enough to take over, um, any specific areas. So. Oh, there's a heart crystal. I didn't even see that. That would have been nice to know about early on, but it's okay. And yeah, this doesn't feel that bad. Or, you know what we could do, actually? Since you don't need to really beat Rain Cthulhu himself, you just need to beat, like, the, um, the minions. Um, we can, like, fight a uh, uh, Rain Cthulhu with not too many buffs, or just like the basic healing stuff, I guess. Um, and then get uh, Crimson Armor. Excuse me, guys, you're interrupting my progress. I'm trying to build an arena. I know you guys don't want me to. Uh, I know you guys are really. You know, not wanting your master to get killed, but you're just gonna have to accept it. Sorry, guys. Let's build this platform over here. Also, I'll build another set of platforms. Uh, here. We might need more platforms. This might not be enough. And it's just barely enough. And I guess I'll put some stone blocks. 
Let's hang you up here. Let's put you here. And let's make a honey. I just realized. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Now we have the uh, Money and stuff, right? And I guess the only thing we could possibly lose is... Nothing, I guess. Well, except maybe a Even then. It won't be bad. I guess we'll try to fight it now. Fifty do tam damage still. Even with a uh, forty three defense man. Oh my goodness. Still dangerous. Lime kelp. That's very interesting. I've never seen that before. Oh and since I only need one more. Um You just Oh, okay. There you go. And you are stuck. Ugh, sorry. That just freaked me out for some reason. How much did we do? Ow, fifty-eight. Okay. Stay away. Oh yeah, that's uh, where is it? Here it is warding shark shark run balloon. I guess is that how you pronounce it? I have no idea. That's not gonna reach it. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll have to do it the hard way. Oh, okay. Here it comes. This arena is a little bit smaller than I would like it to be, but it's okay. Oh, I forgot they have uh, debuffs whenever you hit one of those things, so I gotta be careful. The most common one, I think, is blood suction, whatever it's called. I'm not sure, but it's the one where it tries to stop you from healing. Although I have my honey here and stuff, so I should be okay. And I have a lot of defense in it, so these guys shouldn't deal too much damage. And yeah, right now we're doing like, have a max honey. Although I do not want to continue to- oh no. Uh oh. I killed one. Oh, these give out hearts. There's a heart. Come on. Even if I don't kill you, just slowness. That's really bad, actually. I haven't had to use a healing potion yet, though. That's pretty good. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, once it gets into its second stage, I'm gonna start using uh, a rods. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Actually, I should try a bash into it. Oh, uh oh, they disabled the map. So, yeah, the map doesn't work, so I have to use Frostburn debuff. The only way I'll be able to tell is Frostburn and uh, looking at its health. Or, uh, having the mouse over the actual brain and then, like, seeing how much health it has, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, this is getting difficult. Holy mackerel. First try. First try! Oh my goodness! That was scary. Ooh. I will. We actually defeated it within like 10 minutes of the episode. I didn't expect it either. I. I thought, okay, maybe I could defeat these guys, and maybe, <clears throat> and maybe get brain to like half health or something. But wow, um, I guess I'll give it a try again. Yeah, I think I will, or I think I. Get off here. Oh no! I have to get rid of these blood crawlers first. Which. Okay. Now the real battle begins. Oh, oh, honey, 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 honey. How many of these guys exactly there are? I'm guessing 20. Or it looks to be about 20 anyway. Oh, I have the half debuff armor thing. <laughs> well, the good news is they only last at the most like half a minute. So it won't be the whole battle. Although that, that, that's bad, that's bad. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, okay. Darkness is not bad. Oh, and hearts. Yeah. 
They move in a certain pattern. It's very odd. Oh no. comes. Alright. Bring it on. Yeah, the halfway point, I think, that's where it gets really done, tough. <coughs> Although, I can dash into him, and then also. Or I can dash away. I do kind of see what you mean. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? But I realized that actually that kind of helps because I was dashing away from it. Then it would like somehow expand or something. I kind of see what you're talking about. Sweet, twice. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go back home. Meteorite slam. Nice. Whereas you end up going closer to the brain because the other brain will be over here. And let's fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Why not? After defeating two brains of Cthulhu, this guy is going to be a joke. <laughs> I <laughs> defeat them all in one swipe. It's getting harder to hit them, but. Eat my arrows, dude. Come on. Eat your vegetables. Eat my frosty vegetables. It's good for you. I don't know, he really doesn't like that. Let's fight one more, why not? Oh, it's almost daytime, I gotta be quick. Yeah, two minutes? Uh-oh. That's gonna be hard, actually. Yeah. No. I only have a minute and a half left, oh, okay. I really have to start racking up the damage. Here, zombie. No one invited you. No. Oh, 
Ho! Oh, you did it! Look how close! No, we can't see. It literally turned card. daytime as soon as I did. Oh, oh 419? Okay, so yeah, it's like it was literally like 20 <laughs> seconds away. <laughs> Suspicious grinning eye. Nice! <laughs> I got my as a pad, let's go. <laughs> yeah, and then. <sighs> That's really cool. I like that. Okay. Let's see what I got here. Oh, warding! I got a warding shield of Cthulhu. Yes! Just what I needed. Now, oh, I gotta put this away also. Whoops. Let's see what I got. 27 gold. Oh my goodness. And more tissue samples. Yeah, you can probably make all this stuff. Yeah. If it's actually useful. Let's see. I mean, I think it's definitely useful. Do I have enough tissue samples? I think I do. What do I? The meatball. Do I want that? Do I want that? Hammer. <laughs> Come What's on. The um, let's find out. Forty-six defense and greatly increased life regen. That's oh, really good. Yeah. Annoying. Um, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Huh? What was gold's armor? Three defense. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's a huge upgrade. And I think how how many more bars can I make? Oh my goodness, 162. Wow, after you Yeah. 68. Oh, okay. So you can make two of them. Two sets. Or at least whatever other item. Yeah. Well I think okay. Now let's see. Yes, I know about you and your date with that nurse. Hold on a second. I need to sell you some stuff. This stuff doesn't really matter anymore. I have a bear pickaxe. It doesn't matter either. That doesn't matter either. Um, I guess it could be better than a shackle. I'll sell this one. You guys better stay in. That's right. Yeah. Just give me a second. Alright. Let's head home. Oh, the music changed. Right. You've never seen, uh, or I don't think I've ever seen, uh, music specifically for Raining Storm. Yeah. Is that interesting? Alright, let's fight King Slime. I mean, it's gonna take a while. <clears throat> Yeah. No, not really. King Slime is, I think, more difficult than I have Cthulhu, but at this point of the game, now it's not that hard. <laughs> and I know it's. Yeah, and and, and it's actually con controversial. I say that, but. King Slime does heck of a more damage than I have Cthulhu. I have Cthulhu does like 40 to like 35 or something in Master Mode. King Slime, I think he does in the 70s on Master Mode. He does a ton of damage and his pattern is really difficult to, or it's kind, I guess his teleportation anyway. Oh, yeah, gold. Is kind of difficult. Yeah, but uh, the teleportation is kind of random. Whereas with Iacophila, you know exactly when he's going to do his dashing and all that. And it's really only the second stage that makes him more difficult. Yeah. And, and it doesn't even get that much difficult until the end when he starts going all over the place. But now King Slime is not going to be that much of a problem. I mean, obviously. 
Brian Cthulhu, I think, is harder. Well, it's, no, it's definitely harder than King Slime, but... Yeah. Just come to me, and everything will be happy and just fine. I would like to see a pinky slime. Because those give out a lot of money. I like money. I I'm getting bounced all over the place. It doesn't matter. How much does a purple slime do? One damage still. And no buffs either. Or no defense buffs. Oh, an iron skin push. <laughs> I'll take that. Sweet. Uh, no debuff. Right, yeah, they give darkness. So we're gonna be defeating three, well, I mean, I heard defeat I have the last episode, but, uh, three, technically, bosses that, in, in one episode. Yeah. If I can get yeah, enough, wait, five? Yeah, because you beat two Grey Cthulhu's, two I have Cthulhu's. And you're um, about to be right. Oh, okay. But I meant three different bosses in total. What the? Oh, Spunker Bush. Yeah. Three different bosses. Well, Queen Bee, that's going to take a lot longer. That's going to take much longer, actually. Probably not as long as, uh,. Skeletron, but oh, yeah, forget about it's still gonna it's take a while. Probably Queen Bee. Um, I mean, well, actually, for me, I think Skeletron is easier to predict his patterns, but he does a lot more damage. At least base damage. And he has the blood debuff. Remember, Queen Bee has poison that you can neutralize. But you can't, uh, at least not later on, until not, or not until later on anyway, you can't neutralize the blood defect. How do you neutralize the poison? Uh, you need a bazaar. Um, I think you, you can get that in pre-hard mode. Queen Bee also does poison damage now in master mode. In expert mode. Yeah, before it just did normal damage, and now it does poison damage. Ah, oh, here he comes. Here comes the big boy. Thank you. Ow. The most annoying part will be the slimes themselves. Yeah. Well, they could possibly knock me into King Slime if I'm not careful, so. Oh yeah, I'm alright. He's alright like a third of his health down. Ow! See? 55 damage! Remember, I have Cthulhu did one damage with the di Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go back to my honey. And if he spawns inside- if he teleports inside the buildings, no, they're gonna be dead. Yeah, but I didn't have any bus ride Cthulhu either. Wow. I think he does maybe just a little bit more than Brand of Cthulhu. But not much more. I know. I mean, I don't really need it now, but... Yeah, no, less than a thousand. Does he bounce? He's bouncing all over the place. I'm gonna take him with me to underwater. Ah, you can't get out. Oh, never mind. He can. He can. I forgot about that. See, it's scary. He just. Oh my goodness, fifty damage. That's scary. And now you're dead. Oh, no. Now you're dead. That's uh, yeah, what? Blah 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 blah. 
Hey! Dude, don't jump off that cliff. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's just hanging out there. He's like, oh. <laughs> I'm scared. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Or I'm gonna hang out here anyway. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Okay, you can come down now. It's safe. It's mostly just blue slimes. And they're running away anyway. They're like, oh no. I gotta get all of you guys to make sure you're chasing after me. Because the slimes don't actually chase after you unless you attack them first. Or at least surface slimes. But then after that, once you attack them, then, uh... Then they start to come after you. There we go. Okay. Royal Delight. <laughs> nice, I have a little king slime with me. Yeah, I'm getting so many of these types of pets. It's very interesting. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm gonna put this down here. <sighs> Some ninja armor, slime gun, nice. Solo, a solidifier, and royal chow. That one's not nearly as good now. Okay. Yeah. It's still that slime speaking of really. Right, but... Mm. There's certain places where that's useful. Well, yeah. That's also... Actually, that's probably true. Actually, yeah, I might... I might keep it for later on. Yeah, every once in a while, I do like it. Especially if you get it before you Yeah. I'm gonna start selling some things also. Mm, it's not a uh, material, so... This isn't material either. Although... Should I keep this? I mean, it's... I think you should turn on the light. Huh? Oh! Uh, they don't really provide that much more light. I mean, I, I guess I'll keep it. Crimson Rod, it's damaged, and it uses 30 mana. I don't even have that much mana, so I might just sell it. And it only does 10 damage, so it's not that great anyway. Um, why not? I guess I'll sell it. This I'll keep. Um, I don't really need that. Or that. Or whatever, I guess. Uh, vertebrae? I'll keep a vertebrae, actually. Brain of Confuzzle. Confuzzle. Oh, that's material. Oh, well, I didn't have to check it out. But first... Is there anything else I can make? Useless. Okay. Um... Uh, yeah, okay. So these bars are now useless. Yeah, I can't make anything else that I already... That I already either don't have, or things that are not really that useful. <laughs> yeah, now I can sell them all. Oh, and I can uh, put the iron skin in my... Uh, You can't, I don't think you can make, it, it didn't show me a recipe for crimson bricks, so. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's rare, yeah. That's the one exception. Yeah. Although that's more of Pink-ish, I guess. Oh yeah, let's see what the Royal Delight can make. Oh, a Queen Slime, and then you got... Oh, I might keep this, actually. Um, if you get a Royal 
diligent or something. I'm not sure. Um, you can combine it to have King Slime and Queen Slime. Yeah. So I might keep that for later on. <laughs> Yeah. And why not? I'll fight four more Eye of Cthulhu's just to use for the rest of them. And it's extra money. We. But yeah, I might replace the Shackle uh, with the Brain Confusion. Because the only thing it gives is one plus defense. Um, being able to avoid damage was what the Brain of Confusion does. That's a lot more, uh, useful than <laughs> plus one damage. That yeah, probably exactly doesn't make that much of a difference. Yeah. yeah. That's just a useless Exactly, yeah. Now at a stage where I can constantly fight Eye of Cthulhu's with little to no stress about dying. That's gonna be pretty difficult for the other bosses coming on later on. Being able to just summon it anytime I want and just defeat them whenever. And being like, oh, okay, whatever. Let's see if I can defeat four of them in one night. Probably. Because I have so many extra. Or I had so many extra. I have Cthulhu summons that I might as well use them all. Might as well use them all. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still. It's a Terraria Pokemon parody. No response, gotta use them all. Oh no! I still forgot that these guys are vulnerable to me. I gotta keep him out of the village. I can't hit him. Okay, this will probably be the last one, I think. Before I run out of time. Because it's 1 a.m. already, so. You know what? I might even start using my yo-yo. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Probably, uh, probably Queen Bee first. Because she's easier than, uh, than, uh, Skeletron. Plus, she gives out better items, so. The Bee's Knees. Bee's Knees are made of bees. Who am I to disbelieve? You know, it has been nerfed, but it's still really good. Though. They nerfed a bee's knees, yeah. But it's still, it's not nearly as nerfed as the uh, meteorite armor. And I think it's still going to be an upgrade to the tendon, though. Come on. Huh? That's true also. But I can get tons of other wooden arrows. Okay, I'm gonna save this for probably the next episode. And sell everything else. And, uh, or sell all the things I don't need. I know. I'm evil. <laughs> or so. Let's get to selling. <laughs> okay. And it's still not okay. Wow, a whole platinum out of those bars. Oh my goodness. Now I have I'm really rolling in the dough. Almost four! I need a little bit more mushrooms. And then... Okay. I'm gonna leave this episode here. This was a great episode. Another great episode.
wasn't nearly as long, but it was still a lot better episode than the earlier ones. We defeated Brave Cthulhu, King Slime, and the other Eye of Cthulhu's for more money, and now we nearly have four platinum coins. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Have a good night, guys.